is this arrogance that we have, believing that uh, it starts and ends with a mountain? How many regions, how many counties are there in Kenya? Have you seen what is happening in Mombasa? Sorry. What is happening in Kakamega? We are reading. What is happening in Turkana? What is happening in the rest of the country? There's been too much obsession with the state of affairs in Mount Kenya region. And what we have observed, and the, the data is there, we have seen how the central region has responded to the vote in every election that has been held. The people of central Kenya are the most pragmatic. Politically, they're the most pragmatic. And I'm still convinced that in the next uh, three, four months, there'll be serious shifts in terms of perception of who's likely to run the country. Let's be honest. The economy of Kenya is centered around the mountain for historical reasons. Tom Boyer, sessional paper number 10 of the 1960s that talked about developing high potential areas. And Susan, you remember when we were debating the, the revenue allocation matter? Yep. The, 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 the matter came up. But we were on the same side. Yeah, we, we were on the same side then. <laughs> and even today we are wearing the same colors. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. the, the central region and the mountain region, I think in terms of being uh, the biggest stakeholders in Kenya's economy, uh, you, you cannot understate that. If you're the biggest stakeholder economically, you need stability, you need certainty, you need a government that will look out and will protect your interests as an economic player, Absolutely. not a government that will give you favors. And you want to look at that potential government. Who are the people in it? Are they people who spend all their time on weekdays in court? Are there people who have been convicted of crimes like grabbing of land from persons who have been displaced by political violence? Are there people with lengthy cases of looting county governments? Are they people with even cases of hate speech? Are they people who, when they've lost an argument, they resort to issues like circumcision, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They will look at the parties and the players that are before them. And I can tell you the bulk of those people with lengthy court cases, with lengthy allegations, are on Susan's side. They say it's all political. They say it's a witch hunt. But birds of a feather flock together.